Yo, what's up? It's Najroom, and I'm playing with the Ultimate Cross Path mod once again, meaning we can get the fifth tier of each path all in the same tower. Now, last time we did use the Alchemist, and that was probably one of the worst towers I've ever used. So this time, I wanted to relax a little bit at the resort. And what tower to use here? None other than the sub. Costing an easy 240, we can easily start with it, and I think I want to put it like right here, right? Because once we get the top out the reactor, it should have the range to hit all the way around here. So we can go ahead and play this. Now, honestly, I think this is a great map for him. Like I was saying, his reactor can hit all the way around here. Now, one thing I might have to do is I might have to put like a dart monkey or a glue gunner like back here just so we can see all the way here. I'm not too sure. I'll have to think about that down the road. Like I could also get Geraldo's totem and put it like right here. That way this guy has the range for it. And although the tower doesn't attack, it gives this guy more range, right? We'll see about it. We'll see how I feel. But for now, we can easily start with them and these rounds should easily go by, right? So yeah, I am going to save up for this totem first just because it's always good to have up in the event of an emergency, right? And quickly sell them and get that upgrade you need. I don't really see any emergencies coming up with this guy because he does have all types of popping power, right? He can see camos he can pop leads he has fast attack speed he's got it all let's go ahead and pop geraldo all the way down here in this corner and i will get his totem slap it right here on this bench and we'll go ahead and sell geraldo oh wait they're kind of getting a little far now they're getting to that second loop so i will go one upgrade on him i think twin guns right that's double attack speed yeah double attack speed enhanced ballistic missile and blue tonium reactor i will go ahead and go that one and then after that i think i want to get a farm up just for that little bit of extra income dude the good thing about this guy is his beginner upgrades are very cheap man actually what are his max upgrades how much do those cost sub commander thirty thousand, not bad to strike 38 also not bad and energizer another 38 so all around not too bad still got to do a little bit of farming though to get all of them up but it won't be all that much speaking of not being much we should have enough to get this because it doesn't cost much either we need 100 more actually so i think right after this round we can get it up i'll slap it right in between the benches yeah that's a good spot right there and what is coming up first we have camels coming up in about six rounds so i think we get our camel to tech up in time oh wait he has to be subbed right i think he has to be in sub mode to be able to hit camel so i can't even fit a village on him man he's a little far out actually let's slow this down and get another upgrade on him because he are getting a little far here let's go barbed wire here and i'll go longer ranges because we can yeah now we can see all of that cool i will go ahead and go increase production here you know it is going to be kind of weird because he has to be submerged to actually get his reactor bonus right however his bottom path is going to have a lot of moab damage so maybe i have to micro a little bit and alternate between him being submerged and using his bottom path but we'll have to see how that is all right camel is coming up next round so if i use advanced intel i should get enough after this one right advanced intel oh wait, that's not it we need submerged support oh wait a minute i made a best up here all right we'll let the little pile take care of it for now but we gotta do better in the future because actually i don't really know how we will deal with these camos like i guess we could just keep microing in between micro on micro micro on micro or maybe we should just go top path right we go top path and whenever there's a moab then we go bottom path all right we got some leads coming up so let us go ahead and get heat tip darts that also adds bonus damage right heat tip darts no it just allows the popping of frozen on that okay i wish it did man what is it the tack that adds the extra damage yeah i think tax top path when you get the fire ones they add extra damage it's not too much but it's just a little bit to help out right oh they're getting to the last loop here actually hold up we might need a little bit more damage here oh yeah we need a little bit more damage so let us go ahead and go air burst i do want to keep upgrading our banana farm though if we can but so far this guy's doing really well here but camos are coming up so i'm not too sure how i want to handle this so i will take this round slow i'll go ahead and buy some emergent supports oh wait we can go ahead and get plutonium reactor let's just do that okay that's fine this should work out good for all these rounds right now right we really don't have to worry about anything until the moab comes so and by then we'll think about something we'll think of a good strategy there because what i might do is put like a geraldo down here just to get his camo potion for this guy or you know what actually if i get a village the village would give him camo stop regrows and would give him more space here too so it's a slight buff but i mean the camo village is the only buff i really allow early game unless it's like a really bad tower like an alchemist but we don't talk about that tower anymore let's go ahead and get long life bananas here now that we have banana plantation and then we can start going to the bottom path oh wait we need some moab damage right so let me go valuable bananas here and let's start saving up for this moab damage here we do have this totem to sell it's made eight thousand, so that is good income there we can use that for a beefy upgrade for this guy and i think i want to go ahead and go oh actually well ballistic missile does it activate when he's submerged no i don't see anything but he does have way more range now right it looks like it so let's go ahead and go triple here and i wish i could get armor piercing all right so i need to do there we go so that's gonna shoot and once he gets taken out then i think we go back to the regular right how much damage does this have actually on its own yeah for regular balloons it struggles a little bit let's go ahead and submerge again all right and we can income now we can eco or is that the term in balloons battles right eco that's when you like send out the balloons to get your money up dude i've actually played battles like once or twice just the first one and i raged at it so if you wonder why i don't play balloons battles I rage too much. All right, let's go ahead and go marketplace here, dude. Even the regular blue tower defense six can make me rage, man. Losing round 98 to a singular Moab is just infuriating, dude. Or like a singular ceramic. Oh man, that puts me on tilt. Speaking of tilt, can we tilt this game in our favor by selling this to get the top path? We need like I think two to three thousand more here, right? Yeah, I will sell this to get top path here because that's gonna make a lot more income than this one will make anytime soon. 11, we have 19,000 on the board. There we go, 22,000. All right, sell that and get banana research facility. Cool. So that should be a lot more income.
income for us. And where can I put a village? Can I fill one? Oh, perfect. I can fill one right here. So I'll kind of wait on it because I'm not really sure. Oh, wait. Oh, he's shooting the missile and he's using his ability. Wait, I just noticed because he wasn't doing that when I first got the upgrade, but he is now. That actually might help out for the mob a lot, but let's go ahead and go armor piercing here. I wonder if that's doing anything special. It doesn't look like it. It looks like all this damage is still from the regular tower. This guy is very strong though, man. What if we get first strike? What does that do? Every single strike targeting the largest boot on screen plus splash damage. You know what? I actually want to take this. And the reason being is because we can use it for Moabs, right? We have great damage here as is with the missile. Like that's going to pop it, right? Yeah, that pops it. They don't even get past the third loop. So we have good Moab damage. However, we can always use the missile, instantly take it out. This is a beautiful tower right here. A lot of synergy I'm seeing. And I think once we get top path here, he can use his ability while still being able to shoot, right? His ability cooldowns is everywhere for 20% while the radius heroes earn XP 50% faster and water monkeys abilities cooldowns are half does that have his own cooldown i'm assuming it does right let's go ahead and get a central market here for extra income oh 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 let's nuke that one we pop those ones they're gonna pay a little bit more attention here all right so he has great damage so i think i want to take him off submerge oh yeah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get the village here give him that camel detection so i can take him off submerge and don't really have to worry about anything even more range here on his little radius so let's go ahead and take him off submerge go to first and that should be a lot of extra damage yeah i'm seeing the air burst here i really wish he could have his little submerge radius while also being able to shoot i think the fifth tier gives us that i'm not too sure you know we'll have to get it and find out but i think it does so far this guy's doing really well actually wait a minute <laughs> That's a lot more damage than normal, right? I don't think his missile normally does that much damage, dude. It looks like his little missile that he's shooting out is a first strike capability, man. That's gotta be what it- Dude, he just one-shot the Moab! He one-shot the Moab, man! Oh, this is cracked! I think that's what's going on here, right? I'm hearing that all these paths are meshed together by an AI, right? So I think the AI thinks that this ability is what the new missile should be. So whenever he's launching that missile, that's what it is. And actually, he is launching a lot of those missiles when they get in radius. This guy is very powerful as is. I think it might break if we get multiple of his cross paths, so we'll have to pay attention, right? We'll pay attention to his upgrades, and we'll see if this goes away. If it does, I will sell him, rebuy him up, and stick with whatever we have now, because I think this is, like, the most powerful combo we got going. Now, we could probably go sub commander. I don't think that'll break it. Energizer might break it. I think one of these two might, because if we get preemptive strike, then it'll overlap what we have going on here. So I think this might be worse, actually. For now, let us go ahead and go banana central here, since we're not really struggling anywhere. Round 63, we handled easy. I didn't even see it go by. This guy is insane, man. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Spike Factory, right? When you get the top path with the massive mines, that really looks like the AoE here. Like, it looks very similar. It definitely has the damage here because it's one-shotting these Moabs, and I think it actually one-shot the BFB. You know, wait, we're already round 60, and I didn't even see the BFB. I really think it got one-shot. <laughs> this guy has some damage, man. Dude, just imagine when this guy's super buff with, like, insane attack speed. I think he's gonna be shooting out these missiles, like, way more, man. That'll be a lot of AoE damage. Because if he hits it literally right here, like, it's gonna hit this entire area man let's go ahead and get bottom path here as well for extra income and i really don't think we need to upgrade this guy anytime soon i'm worried that when he actually starts to struggle we'll upgrade him and he won't be as good but i do want to go ahead and get another upgrade path here because it has been a minute uh, let's try let's hope this doesn't break him energizer okay he's still good he's still working and he actually looks really cool dude this is honestly one of my favorite looking cross paths for him man he actually looks like he's out of water <laughs> look at him he's on here a little bit but i'm loving it. i'm loving the spread for it i hope this one stays uh let's go oh uh, dude you know what we're gonna have to i really think this is gonna break him but uh, let's just do it man let's go preemptive here is it broken? No, it's still there. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. It still works. It still works. Cool. 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 I was worried for a second, man. All right. So the bottom path then. The bottom path is the last one. Let us hope that the bottom path does not break this tower, man. Because he is beefy and I'm all for it, dude. This guy actually might be one of the strongest towers that we've seen, man. Maybe not as strong as the Spike Factory, but hey. The Spike Factory is a different class of balloon on its own. I see when it comes to the fortified BFBs, it does take multiple shots, right? It takes a couple. You know, one shot, it takes out the regular BFB and then it clears out some of the insides, like some of the health on them. But then it just takes another shot to clear out everything out so this guy should be a-okay and i'm also hoping once we get the bottom path that attack speed bonus we get from this the sub commander will also add to the attack speed of the missile but we'll have to see if that's how it really works out i'm gonna go ahead and get multiple farms here you know i wasn't really doing this before but you never know when the tower is gonna lose so with the extra income you might as well farm right let's go ahead let's get three up here let's fill up this entire area right here you know what i wonder if we use this ability will it break it let's spam it oh it broke oh wait 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 pause it right pause it right it broke it broke it broke okay so if we use the ability it breaks it like he's got decent damage still right but we can have a massive damage let's go ahead first strike that we go sell him and we go buy him back because i'm sticking with him being op man i told you i'd buy him back and sell him i think we want this one did we go fully yeah we went fully that one and then we went that one and then i think that's it right yeah there we go that's it oh we gotta take him out first wait is it working he's already getting a little far here oh is he broken broken i think we broke him broke him hold up uh let me sell him again let me try this again and we did what was the pass we went one one i'll just go all the way dude i'll just go sub commander for this guy then uh let's go energizer let's let this guy attack a little bit 
It's called First Strike, and I think I go that, right? There we go, there we go. There's our damage again, man. There it is. Now this guy's maxed up, right? He's got the beefy bottom path for a lot of extra damage, and he's also sending out the strong missiles. These fortifies are a bit of a trouble for him, though. Oh, I see what's going on here now. So the ability still works, right? His regular missile is still shooting out the most powerful preemptive strikes. Well, I guess it's not really shooting out preemptive strikes, but the missiles are much stronger, right? But preemptive strike also works. You know, when the balloons first come on screen, it's gonna send one out at them. And then also regularly, it's gonna send out those missiles. So it's a lot of extra damage we got going on here. We just have to not use this ability. As strong as it is, if we use it, it'll break the tower. Yes, it'll be more damage directly, like right then and there. However, it's gonna be less overall, so. Although, hmm, does he have that damage? I'm not seeing the massive explosions anymore. Wait, he might be broken, broken, hold up. Cause it used to be the big explosions here, right? Wait, slow it down. I don't see the big explosions. It used to be really big explosions. I think we broke him, broke him. Uh, you know what? Let's go home real quick. Let's see if that does anything. Alrighty, I'm back in. Let us see if this changed it, right? Does it? No, dude. I really think we lost it. Yeah, dude. I really think we lost the explosive power because it literally used to be massive shots, right? And as soon as we used it once, the game is just broken now. We're about to lose this, actually. You know what? I'm actually gonna reset this. I'm actually gonna reset because I think I messed it up and we actually lost that power. So for you guys, it'll be in an instant, but for me, I'm gonna go all the way back from zero and get back to 91. All right. Alrighty, we are back and we are better than ever. As you can see, the blue is getting anywhere across this map man so what i realized is when i first used the first strike ability that's what caused it to actually get all this extra damage however that was when he was in his sub form so when i unsubbed him and then used the ability again it fixed it and returned it to how it should have been so i think if this breaks what i have to do is i have to put him in sub mode i have to use the ability then take him out of sub mode and then you start shooting it like it isn't however i think maybe when it breaks it just might break it because what i had to do is reset the game i actually tried getting back to where we were normally like in the same game but for some reason it just wasn't working whatsoever like it was so i did end up having to reset my entire game loading it back up and i literally watched my pre-recorded video over and followed my exact steps to get where we are now i've got more farms up and i position our farms very strategically i put one right here in the corner so we can easily start shooting the balloons when they're right here i put it right here so when they get this far and i'm actually going to line up more along here so we can see all the way across this map now it won't affect camos but it will affect everything else so as far as camos go i might either put like camo villages so these things have camo attack and then he actually has that white map range or i just might put some dart monkeys there you know we'll see i'll leave that to when he needs to be buffed i'll consider that part of buffs this i'll just consider part of this damage you know so we can see the whole map because normally he can't see the whole map right speaking of whole map let us go ahead and get more of these farms down where do i need to put one like right here the balloons are getting a little far here because he is targeting the strongest balloon with his missile so if the strongest balloon is all the way back here like the zomgs are bad then speaking of which here's the bad and it gets popped within seconds get another wizard monkey but we've already done the wizard man holy that went by super fast all right let's keep it going man why while I was mid speaking about the bat, it just appeared and then it disappeared. Holy, this guy's the real magician, man. I'm about to rename him magician. What if I call this guy? I called him reactor. <laughs> Of course, because I usually only get him to be a reactor, so I named him reactor. But if you guys have a better name, let me know in the comments, man. Obviously, this guy has incredible damage all the way right here. However, oh, they're getting a little far here. Does he still have the first strike ability? Yeah, he still has the first strike ability. However, it has like a little bit of downtime, right? Every second, every other second, it's going to target the strongest balloon. So if the strongest balloon isn't down here, then it's going to be hitting right here. So that might cause us to lose. But I mean, we'll have to see because they're getting very far here. Very far, but they should all get popped right here, right? We might actually lose right here. Yeah, we lost right there. All right, so that's a lot of balloons there. The main thing is he's targeting the strongest balloon and the strongest balloon is usually always back here. So he only has like one chance to actually hit these Serams and I think he needs to hit them twice now. Now that they're super Serams and fortified. I think even if I slowed it down, the outcome would be the same. The game was already running pretty slow. This honestly might be kind of a bad map for him. You know, if we do something like logs, it might actually be better. I might actually go on logs and test this guy out just because this guy is really cool. But I mean, he reached past 100, so I think it is safe to buff him, right? Okay, so as far as buffs go, I think he's gonna be very powerful. We can sell this first and foremost the farms i'll leave up we should have enough capital to get everything up i will go ahead and get the golden village here because if i get the golden village here i don't think it needs to be in range yet right well if i put it right here yeah you know i'm gonna put it right here so it is in range we will go the top path here first i normally don't go top path first but the reason being is because the next one the blue one is actually gonna get all this massive aoe so we can really put it like all the way down here and it'll still be able to see this guy we'll go bottom path all the way here we got to make sure not to tech bot this guy because this guy will break himself if we do use the ability and the ability should still work so i think we can go ahead and play it but first let me get another tech bot throw it right on this bench here and let us get this guy tech bot in here and i think that should be the only one we need right but play it okay there we go the main missile is slightly faster actually wait it's much faster oh, wait a minute <laughs> the main missile is much faster i'm talking about the main like op missile right much faster now and we still got an ultra boost and overclock this guy so it's only gonna get it even faster there's an overclock and there is the ultra boost and now this missile is constantly hitting this guy is getting far his 
Main missile is aiming right here. I don't know why it was doing that. Yeah, I don't know why it aims here. I guess when there's no more balloons on the screen, because this massive missile already takes them out. So the smaller missile just hits here because it has nothing else to target. All right, you know what? This guy may have lost around like 104, but now that he's super buffed, he's getting very far, dude. I think what'll cause him to lose is the same thing where he lost on around 104. We got like a lot of DDTs that are going this way really fast, and he's focusing down here because there's like a fortified bad. Fortified bad's going really slow. It gets to like right here. So his main missile damage is like all right here, and it can't hit these. However, he is hitting so often, and it looks like it has a massive AoE. Even if the balloons are right here, he might still be able to hit him when they're like right here. But I do have high hopes for this guy. Oh, predictions. Okay, so I think this guy will get to easily round 200, right? With this much damage, he easily has to get to 200. <laughs> I mean, look at that, dude. A DDT just appears on screen. It's like he pulls out a samurai sword like, I am already behind you. The DDT, nani, shing. Boom, gone. This guy is easily getting past 200 in my opinion. And I think he's probably gonna be up there with the other towers, right? With the sentry, with the boat. He could get all the way up into the 250s. Now, I normally don't highball my towers, man, but this guy, he just has so much damage. It's just hard to ignore this much damage, dude. This really reminds me a lot about the spike factory, man. And honestly, I might have to retest this guy on logs still. Even though he is doing very well here on resort, I might still wanna slap him down at logs because he'll be able to hit way more balloons around his radius, man. But we'll have to see. I'll have to get like the faster forwarding mod just to really zoom through that and i might just do that on my own time but for now we'll just stick with resort so i'm gonna confidently say round 242 that is the round i'm gonna go with he's most likely gonna get above that round however we still have to see right you never know he could slip up with some ddts you know the map is a bit unforgiving when they get all there right here so we'll have to see round 242 is my prediction but like always we'll have to go afk and see if this guy lives up to it or not i'll catch you guys soon Alrighty, what do we got going on here? DDT is 255 really fast on the track. We do have the game slowed down. Now, he did lose this round, and I think it's really because the DDTs are moving way too fast for him. He pops the bads really early on the track, man. Like, the bads barely get past his first loop here before they get popped. And actually, he ends up beating the round that he lost on. Okay. All right, so here's the problem I'm seeing with this guy, right? He's got great bad damage. Like, look, he pops these bads literally right here at the beginning of the track. So it's insane. It's just that the DDTs are so fast, and his main damaging attack is only targeting the strongest balloon. So if the bats are just entering the track right here, the DDTs can easily rush all the way through the track and barely get by here if they don't get hit by the main missile here, which is kind of hard for them to slip past, but some of them do make it, which is why this guy's been losing every now and then. So I think the main problem that we have going on here is literally the map, right? If we were to do a map like logs, the balloons would loop around multiple times, mainly the DDTs, and then most likely run into this massive AOE again. So I think what I'll really do here is when he actually does lose, I am going to go ahead and do it like just now <laughs> oh man they always lose as i'm just midway through speech right so i think what i'm gonna do here is actually test this guy out on logs because i feel like on logs he'll perform much better than he is now you know i normally don't do this with towers but i have high faith in this guy dude he's literally popping the bats at the very beginning of the track man i know this guy has a long way to go on him and i think this guy could actually push to 300 i might be stretching it maybe it's like 280 something but i really feel like he's up there man i've tried this round two to three times over and he keeps losing i don't know what it is dude these dts are just too fast look at this man the game is going as slow as possible i figured if it's on logs he'd be able to hit them more but that just doesn't seem to be the case so the game is going as slow as we can get it he's got a lot of damage up here but watch these dt look how fast these things are he can't even catch them and they just zoom straight to the exit man how do we do better on resort than we did logs Alrighty, i'm just gonna go by what we did on resort right it was like what 250 something i just saw my old video it's around 257 man i really expected it to do much better here on logs the map is longer many more loops so many more times for it to hit these balloons again however ddts are just way too fast man and it's kind of crazy because he actually has insane bad damage but that's from his main missile attack and his main missile only hits the strongest balloon maybe if it was targeting the first balloon we'd do something different here but there's no way to really get that going because the missile itself only targets the strongest balloon so i am going to call for this guy round 241 on logs but 257 overall which still surprises me the 555 sub tower does go down now this tower way better than i thought man way better because honestly these military guys although a lot of their paths do mesh well together i've been seeing that most of them haven't been getting too far the only other one that's gotten really far has been the boat right and even then dude i feel like the boat here would do much better than this guy has and honestly the boat would probably do much better than he did on park path but that's that tower and this is this one incredible tower incredible design one of my favorite cross path designs for this guy and incredible performance overall and it barely lagged man as you can see we just played that last run over and there was barely any lag which is absolutely incredible and it's the main reason why i wanted to test them on logs as well however we still have one one more tower left and that is the big boy himself the super monkey so we will have to see how that guy does and i will catch you guys then